Welcome back everyone to Bake a Leg and Let's Dig at Homestead. I've attempted to do this video three times. Let's go for it. I initially wasn't even going to record this video. I got this recipe from the Needy Homesteader. Uh, let me catch you up on what's going on. I have some clean uh, cranberries. Pick through them. Make sure there was no mushy ones. And I basically, oops, sorry, had it in a regular bowl. Um, and then in this pot here, because this equaled out to four cups of cranberries, I put four cups of water, four cups of sugar, and brought it to a light simmer, not to a ro rolling boil, because you can see there's steam coming off of it, because you have to give it six minutes to somewhat cool. I then took my raspberries, ugh, I keep calling them raspberries, my cranberries, and I put them in a big bowl. Um, because you're going to want a big bowl because you're going to pour the simple syrup over the cran cranberries and let them sit for 24 hours. Now, why are you going to do that? This is why. Because you're going to make sugared cranberries. After they sit for 24 hours, you're just going to roll them in some sugar, put them on a cookie sheet, um, you can use a fork, you can use a glass container with a lid, just a few at a time and just shake them. Um, it's something cute and festive for your Christmas table. They're also delicious. I've had them before um, and I did get the recipe from the Needy Homesteader. So if you go on over, tell her that Melody sent you. Um, so yeah, I used a measuring cup that equaled out to four cups of cranberries so if you have four cups of cranberries it's four cups of water and four cups of sugar if it's three cups cranberries is three cups water three cups sugar you get the idea and then you're going to want to bring this up but not to like a boil and you got to give it six minutes to simmer that's kind of where i was before i had to restart my video so there's still a little steam on it. So I dumped the cranberries into a bigger bowl because what we're going to do now is we're going to take the simple syrup and we're going to pour it over the cranberries and we're going to cover this with saran wrap for 24 hours. Um, none of them popped. None of them are broken. It's exactly what you want. You want them to stay whole. Now, let me tell you something else because this is a two for one, like she says. You get the cranberries. Um, when this is done in 24 hours, you want to take a strainer and another separate bowl to absolutely save the, um, I'm just going to push them down, just to save the this, this simple syrup. You can use it in a Christmas cocktail. You can use it in some seltzer water. I have one stuck. Um, do not throw it out. So if you have a bottle with a lid, that's great. Save the simple syrup. You can use a mason jar and save the simple syrup. Like I said, for a Christmas cocktail. Um, if you like water, you can put some inside your water. So I'm going to cover this and then I really don't need to bring you along. I'll show you the picture. It will be the main picture on the video. Um, cause I don't have editing software. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a container. It could be a container that has a lid, like a snap-on lid. And you're going to want to put some sugar in there. And you're going to want to put, after you drain these and you save the simple syrup, you're going to want to put a little bit of cranberries in some sugar. Um, just in some sugar. And you're going to want to toss them around. And then... Use a fork to get it out, and you're going to lay your cranberries on the cookie sheet um, and let them set up. Uh, we're getting pretty close to Christmas here, so you can store them in your refrigerator, not if you make them too far in advance. Um, and you could put them in a super cute um, candy dish, and that is what I'm making. I am making sugared uh, cranberry candy because it literally tastes like candy. It'll be sweet and tarty at the same time. 
So there's nothing really else I can show you because this has to sit for 24 hours. I'm going to cover it with saran wrap 24 hours. I am going to put a strainer in a bowl to save this simple syrup to use for other things throughout the holiday. And then I'm going to start with the cranberries. Use a fork and you basically want to lightly shake them or toss them in the sugar so they're well coated and then you're going to want to put them on a cookie sheet in a single layer and then you can pretty much uh just put them in a candy dish keep them in the refrigerator i'm going to put them right in a candy dish and i am so looking forward to the simple syrup because it's going to taste like cranberry and you can use it for lots of other things. So super quick video. Um, you'll see the end product in the picture when I go to upload the video. So let me get some saran wrap on this. Wish me luck. And yeah, look out for the video and you'll be able to see the picture. It's not hard, like I said, just take a fork. You can put like five or eight inside a different container and you're just gonna Shake the cranberry around so they're fully coated in sugar. Use a fork to take them out. Lay them flat on a cookie sheet. And that's it. And you will then have candied cranberries. So, I will see you guys. When I upload the video, you'll see the picture. But it's the best I could do is just tell you what I'm doing today. <laughs> and that is making candied cranberries. So, I'm going to cover this. Let it sit for 24 hours. And I will upload the picture on YouTube when I go to upload the video. So that's what I'm doing today in my kitchen. Um, give it a try. You want to see the finished product well in advance. Because um, I don't know when this will get posted. Probably, I don't know. Hopefully before Christmas. But it's very chaotic here. It is like, uh, you know, baker's craziness in here. <laughs> so with that being said... The picture of the finished product will be in, um, will, will be on my YouTube. So super easy. We're just going to cover this with saran wrap and I'm going to go put it in on the dining room table and let it sit for 24 hours. Then I'm going to take a strainer and I'm going to save the simple syrup and I'm going to leave the cranberries in this bowl separately and then you'll just scoop them out and sugar coat them. So there you go. That's what I'm doing today. Happy holidays.